guys, welcome to another episode of Sabrina Recommends. Uh, I've got five books this time that I've gone through and I'm going to tell you what I liked about them and whether or not you should read them. The first book I'm going to talk about today is called Doodle Bug, a novel in doodles by Karen Romano Young. This book was almost like a mix between a regular book and a graphic novel. So the idea is that Doreen, the main character, uh, is writing in a journal but she likes to doodle while she writes so what we're looking at is her journal and she's talking about her family's move to san francisco so she has to deal with being the new kid in school struggling with her parents and their new jobs struggling with siblings and even a new cat uh, she has a lot going on and we kind of get to just peek into her world and see what she's doing and there's lots of cool doodles in it which was actually really fun um, I would give it a three out of five. It took me a while to get used to reading it. So three stars out of five for that. But the story was really good and I really liked it. The next book I have is called A Drowned Maiden's Hair by Laura Amy Schlitz. I actually read two books by her this time. This is the first one. And it is about, well, it's a historical novel. So it is set in the past. And it's about a little girl who is adopted by a set of older sisters who are con artists. So they want to invite her into the family business and teach her essentially how to fool rich people into believing that they've seen a ghost in a seance and the little girl is going to play the ghost. Uh, this book was so, so, so fun to read. There's action. It's really exciting. There's lots of mystery and character changes and plots. It's a little more advanced. I would maybe suggest it for like ages 10 and up, uh, especially if you like to read. It's a good challenge. Um, but I really, really liked this book. It was so good. I give it five out of five stars. It was one of my favorites that I read out of this group. The next book is Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman also wrote Coraline and Stardust, a couple of other books you might have heard of. Um, this book is nice and short. It's an easy read. I'd suggest it for maybe even like seven up as long as you're kind of starting to get into chapter books. This book is about two kids who are ready to eat cereal. Their mom's out of town. It's just their dad and then they realize that they're out of milk. So dad goes out to get some milk and it takes him forever to come back. And they're all just wondering where he is. He finally gets back and he says, this is why it took so long and starts to tell the story of how he was getting the milk. He got out of the store, got abducted by aliens and it just goes crazy from there. So he ends up in a hot air balloon with a dinosaur. There are aliens involved, like I said, and the whole time, Every time he gets into a new situation, the milk saves the day until he finally gets back to the kids and the kids don't believe him at all. But it's an awesome story. It was really fun to read and really funny. Uh, I'd give this probably a four out of five stars. It was a little slow at the beginning, but I really, really enjoyed finishing it up. book I'm going to talk about is Splendors and Glooms, another one by Laura Amy Schlitz. I read two of them this time. This is another historical novel um, that features some similar dark themes. I'd probably suggest it for maybe like 10 or 11 and up. Um, another good challenging book, this one is about a puppeteer named Grissini and the two children who work for him. They go and perform a puppet show at a little girl's birthday party. Her name is Clara and the next morning Clara goes missing. Um, everyone assumes Grissini is behind it, including the two kids who work for him. So they decide they've got to figure out what happened to Clara and attempt to save her and save the day uh, until they realize that Grissini has some magic and maybe magic is involved and that's what happened to Clara. So they have to figure out how to work around the magic and see if they can use magic to bring Clara back. I would give this one a four out of five stars. It was really good, just a little challenging and definitely some dark themes. So I'd keep an eye out for that. The 
last one I'm going to talk about today is called Willa of the Wood by Robert Beatty. Uh, this book I would probably suggest for seven or eight years old and up depending on your reading level. It's a low reading level but it's a thick book so it's a great challenge for someone who's just starting out in chapter books and wants something a little more invested without the high reading level. Uh, Willa is a Farren person. They live in the woods. They're connected to nature um, and they sort of live in this little tribe and they go only go out into the human world to steal resources. Um, so Willa is out in the human world and gets caught by a human um, and realizes that maybe humans aren't as bad as all the people that she lives with say they are. Um, the guy who is in charge of their clan at the moment decides to completely shut them off from the human world and Willa thinks maybe that's not the best idea. So she's going to go out on her own and try to prove to her people that the humans aren't as bad as everyone says that they are. Uh, this book was a great challenge. There is a good bit of violence in it. It's not gory or anything like that, but keep an eye out for that. I really enjoyed it. I give this one five out of five stars. It was a really fun read. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Sabrina Recommends. I hope you give some of these books a try. If you do, uh, come in, let us know how you liked them. If there's other books that you think I should read or review or look at, comment down below. Let me know what you think I uh, should read next. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy the holidays. Mm -hmm.